can we get like the 60 second breakdown of like the actual game of Axie Infinity and maybe some numbers around daily users. I want to sure. give our listeners just a perspective of just how big it is and mm -hmm. actually like what the game is for people who may not have played yet. Sure. Well, Axie is a digital pet universe first and foremost, right? So there are cute, adorable creatures called Axies. And the idea is that you can actually use them in infinite games, right? Where some of them are being created by Sky Mavis, the parent company behind Axie, right? So we've created a card battler. We're working on a land system, right? So the card battler is kind of like a cross between Yu-Gi-Oh and Hearthstone and, and Pokemon. Whereas the land system is a little bit, right? Like harvesting, uh, harvesting resources, building up a town. It's a little bit more like on the Clash of Clans, Rise of Kingdoms, Stardew Valley, even Animal Crossing side of things. But then we also have this builders program, right? Where the community is actively also building games on top of the Axie universe. Cool. Um, so in terms of yeah, adoption, right? The mission for Axie is to get blockchain and crypto into the hands of as many people as possible. We believe that onboarding someone to crypto is one of the most important things that you can do for another human being at this important moment in history. And so adoption, onboarding, that is kind of our North Star. And what has happened so far, right? So there are around two and a half million unique addresses or wallets that own Axies. The Ronin wallet has around four million downloads, right? Making it one of the largest crypto wallets out there. Uh, Axie Classic, right? Kind of like the last version of our battle system. Uh, at, at its most popular, had around 2.8 2 million daily active users, which is larger than a lot of the famous games that from the traditional world that, that you might know about. We're currently in the transition where we're rolling out a new game called Axie Infinity Origin, which is like a big upgrade on that. Most importantly, we're going to be having... There are free starter axes, so people can fall in love with the game, see that they love the mechanics before having to go down that onboarding rabbit hole. And we think that that's really important because there are so many misconceptions about Axie and NFTs. Like we want to show people that this is first and foremost an engaging, fun experience that's super social. Yeah, yeah. When you talk about that adoption and that being one of the like most important focuses for you. How do you think through the user experience of someone coming in who has no crypto experience and then is next like playing a blockchain based game? Are there any really important learnings or like insights you found as you innovated on how you get users to sign up or really just kickstart that gaming journey? Well, so around 80% of our players come from referrals. So they're kind of onboarded by hand from friends and family who have had an awesome experience in the ecosystem. And we think that that's going to largely be the case moving forward as well. We have talked to people, you know, who work at Riot, right? The creators of League of Legends. Actually, League is actually a very difficult game to get onboarded on into, right? You need to be kind of on uh, onboarded by a friend. They kind of need a, you know, maybe duo bottom with you uh, to kind of show you the ropes. But that's actually part of what creates a really special community when it's like, right, it's kind of growing through friends and family. And um, so, yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of the onboarding. But of course, we want to do an amazing job, right, teaching people the basics, right? Like, so something like an Axie Academy or an Axie University, that's an education that we're interested in kind of in, in investing in, right? Because yeah. like there are through by playing Axie, people have learned how to right, send transactions. What is a blockchain? Use a digital wallet. Uh, self custody, trade on a dex, right? We have our own dex and provide liquidity. And so we think that these are actually fundamental skills. It's kind of like teaching someone how to use the internet in the 1980s. It might not feel like that right now, and people might not believe that. But imagine, imagine the people who understood how to use the internet super early on, right? Like that was a huge benefit uh, for them later on as society progressed. For sure. Yeah, I wonder if that's a, a strategy that all Web3 companies should be taking, or if you think you're uniquely positioned as a gaming company to get people to engage in some of these mm -hmm. challenges and activations versus a, you know another company that's maybe not, that's still crypto focused, but not gaming focused. 
are those users as likely to go through that learning curve? Because I think all Web3 startups are thinking that same thing. How do we get our members, our users, our community comfortable and fluent in some of these key skills you're talking about? I believe in learning by doing. I hated school, right? Like I was not someone who wanted to sit in the classroom. And so I believe that, yeah, you need to make education fun and worthwhile for people to actually want to go through it. And you're right, Web3, right? right. I think the ultimate currency in the modern era, the ultimate form of value is actually attention, right? If you can capture people's attention, then value can be created somewhere down the line eventually. And in terms of crypto, I think that crypto, all the different types of applications, it, we're actually all battling for the same thing, which is attention. And then once you have that attention, right, the, these protocols can kind of capture value at different parts of the stack. So with Axie, we believe that a really fun social gaming experience is the perfect way to get people's attention. And then you onboard them to the less interesting more educational right parts of the yeah. ecosystem you're listening to the unstoppable podcast the go-to place for everyone to learn about the latest innovations in web3 nfts and the decentralized web welcome to the metaverse <laughs>